another video. Today I'm going to be doing my makeup. Please enjoy this video. First, I'm going in with the Keys Soul Care Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum, which I use as a primer for my makeup. This works really well on its own, or you can put it under makeup, which I really like. And the next product I'm using is the Ilia Eyeshadow Primer, which is really great. It's natural, and it doesn't look too cakey, and is also non-toxic, which I love. Then I am using my custom Elate Eyeshadow and it is one where you can pick the different colors that you want and I am doing their lightest brown shade which I really like for everyday wear and it's called Earthen and you can create your own eyeshadow palette which I really like and this is the color I use for that and I'm just applying that all around my crease and going using swiping motions and just really blending it out so that it looks natural then i'm going in with the izzy brand which is a zero waste makeup brand and i'm just going in with their clear gel this looks really well because if it doesn't leave your eyebrows too stiff which i really like then i'm going in with my ilia super serum skin tint with SPF 40 and this is the shade ST8 Shella and this works really well because it's natural. Then I'm going in with my concealer which is also from Elate and it is the shade CN2. And this works really well because it's not a liquid, it's actually in a pan and so it's travel friendly, which I really like. And it just really melts into your under eye and your skin really easily and looks really natural without looking cakey. Then I'm actually using another Elate product. This is actually their lip butter or lip balm, which um, is their pink dark pink shade but I'm actually using it as an eyeshadow because everything is non-toxic and um, can be used I think in different parts of your face so I've used this multiple times as an eyeshadow and it just gives a really glowy like wet um, eyeshadow look which I really like so I am using their eyeshadow pencil which is in the shade Evolve and I'm just putting that on the lower lash line and you can either use your fingers to tap it in or brush um, I use both and then I'm also putting it where I previously put the light brown color in the crease and I'm doing it mostly on the outer edges just to deepen that look and you want to do tapping motions to keep a lot of the color there Then I'm going in with a pearl eyeshadow pencil, which makes it really easy to apply. It is Gleam. They have a bunch of different uh, white shades. So they have Glitz, Gleam, and as well as Mystic. Um, and I just like to use Gleam because it's more cool toned and a little bit brighter. Then I'm going in with a eyelash curler and just quickly curling my eyelashes so that I can get it ready for mascara. Then I'm going in with the Izzy Black Mascara and I love this so far. I do say if you do have oily skin and you're going to go on a hike or going to exercise, 
that this mascara does run on the bottom for my bottom eyelashes a little bit so just be aware of that they also don't have a waterproof mascara still yet so um, unfortunately for people that do prefer waterproof mascara I would shop elsewhere but if you're just looking for a mascara for natural looks and just everyday use this one's really nice and it can is very buildable and it's really easy to take off I used to use a lot of waterproof mascara and it would basically only take oil for the mascara to take off but this one comes off really easily with just my cleanser which I really like and I'm also applying it to the bottom eyelashes as well and I just do it multiple times to get it more dramatic and if I want it less dramatic I just apply it one or two times then I'm going in with the milk bronzer stick and I'm just applying that with a brush I what I do is I take the bronzing stick and I put it a little bit on the brush and then I tap it into my face on the places where I want to be bronzed and this really works well if you want a more natural contour I've also done it where I have applied this stick directly to my face and then used a brush to tap it out and that works really well as as well but for this look I just wanted it to be a little bit more natural so I'm doing it this way I'm doing the same method and I am using the milk blush and I am just tapping it in and this is the one that Sephora had for their birthday collection so whatever shade they had for that this is the one I'm using and I'm just tapping that in as well I'm doing a C motion from my forehead to the cheeks I'm going in with another Olay product which is their lip pencils and I'm using Honor around the edges and I am putting Serene in the middle to give it more of a 90s lip and these are really creamy they aren't food or drink proof so just keep that in mind but they're really easy to apply after you eat or drink then I am using the Rare Beauty highlighter and I'm just tapping that in and the, this product goes a long way so less is more definitely with this product um, I really love it because it is non-toxic and it just looks really natural and is not too dramatic when I do want a more of a dramatic highlight I will go in with the iconic London highlighter and I really like both of them I am then going in with the Honest Beauty Save Face Shielding Setting Spray and this one's amazing because it has SPF and is non-toxic and I think also has vitamin C as well and you can seal in all your makeup while also protecting your skin. And that is the makeup look. Everything is going to be listed down below. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe down below i will see you again in the next one bye